Hey everybody, it's me, Patty. I'm back in the kitchen, and guess what? I'm gonna cook something that I actually am good at. I don't even have a full-fledged recipe for this. It is something that I've just sort of tweaked over the years, believe it or not. So, it's turkey meatloaf. And a lot of times, like when I used to work with ground turkey in particular, it can dry out. So what I found from various recipes is the more vegetables that you add, in this case, I'm gonna be adding mushrooms and onions. Sometimes I add green zucchini and I shred, add it to the meat mixture to keep it moist. So you'll need that. I love Worcestershire sauce, some thyme, tomato paste, ketchup. Um, every now and then I'll add some breadcrumbs. It just depends on how wet the ingredients are when they cook up, but let's get started. Turkey meatloaf coming up. So for this particular meatloaf, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 325, okay? Um, and I have like a really nice sized skillet because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute the onions, then add the mushrooms. This is gonna be with a little bit of oil and then the meat. And then I also have this large glass pan. You could also use a metal pan. That way we can form the actual meatloaf. You guys, I am serious when I say I love this meatloaf so much. And it freezes really nicely and also makes great sandwiches. It's perfect the next day. So um, you can make it any size range you want. I actually bought two packs of ground turkey, the 16 ounce, but sometimes I've made half. Um, sometimes you can double or even triple it up. So what I'm gonna do now is just prep the onions and the mushrooms. Okay, these are really making me cry. I forget the tip that you're supposed to use so that you don't cry when you cut the onions. Only I only used half of that onion because I didn't want it to be too overwhelming, but I'm gonna go ahead, I added some olive oil to this pan. I am putting the onions in and then I'm gonna go back and chop up the mushrooms and add those next. need a couple more minutes just to get a little bit more cooked, translucent. Um, but I am going to add the mushrooms and then I'll also go ahead and I'll add probably about half of this can of tomato paste to this. And if you need to add a little bit of chicken stock or chicken broth just to wetten it up a little bit, you certainly can. All right, so I'm gonna turn this heat up just a touch more and now add the mushrooms. Love the smell of this combination, onions and mushrooms. I'm gonna add a little bit of thyme too. If you have thyme leaves, you can put them in, but I'm not that fancy. I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch it between my fingers and just sprinkle it in. Sometimes I add um, Italian seasoning to it, but honestly, it doesn't need that much flavor because my favorite addition to this turkey meatloaf is actually the Worcestershire sauce. But I'm a huge fan of Worcestershire sauce anyway. I can barely say it, Worcestershire sauce. That's like one of my favorite condiments, if you will. So I love the flavor. So we're gonna get this just sizzling up, um, kind of browned, I guess. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the tomato paste and we're actually gonna mix this warm right into the ground beef, the ground turkey beef. So make sure that your hands are nice and clean. I'm not even gonna retake that because this just this is the way it goes. It's just the way it goes. So just wash your hands, get a huge bowl. You're gonna put the ground turkey in there and then you're gonna add this warm mixture to it. We're gonna add the cheese to it and then we're gonna mold it and put it in the baking sheet. All right, bye. I just realized that I had some tomato paste in a tube. Um, I love this kind that you get from Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna squirt some in there. <laughs> a nice little amount. We're gonna use ketchup too on the top of the meatloaf and that helps to seal in all of the moisture as well. Okay, now this is my favorite part. This is where we mix. I did wash my hands thoroughly. So I'm adding the turkey, the ground turkey, to this large bowl. Then I'm gonna add a nice generous helping of this three cheese um, parm shredded blend. So let me show you where we're at. Come on over. There we are. All right. And then I'm going to take some Worcestershire sauce, which I told you I love. So I'm pretty generous with this. I just love the flavor it adds. I do. I just think it's amazing. Now, sometimes I add breadcrumbs. It just depends um, on how like everything is kind of sticking together. 
but I don't know that I'm gonna need it for this, but I do have some panko breadcrumbs just in case. Anyway, so this is the mixture that we just heated up, so it's actually still warm. Now, you can add, I've added chopped spinach to this before, I've added zucchini to this before, shredded, oh, by the way, let me go get the, the pan. This pan, because this is where we have to put our meatloaf, turkey meatloaf mold. So you just want to get in here and mix these ingredients really, really well. Plop it kind of in the center of this glass baking dish. And then we create the mold. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? All right, we're gonna top it with ketchup and pop it in the oven. So I just made my mold probably about two and a half inches thick. And then we're just gonna do ketchup and An hour and a half, we'll check on it. You guys, I was listening to Oprah's Super Soul Sunday and just completely spaced out. But apparently this is done. All right, let's check it out. Okay, looks amazing. Definitely looks amazing. So see, because of all those wet ingredients, you are, that's totally normal. You're gonna have a lot of that liquid, but the key to success is if it's nice and juicy inside. Ooh, that smells so good. Now my intention was to cook up some vegetables, but I did not do that. I got very distracted. I was listening to Oprah's podcast and it was good stuff. So anyway, I call that a good distraction though. All right, so I'm just gonna cut a piece of this because I sincerely have not eaten properly today. I'm just showing you how yummy this looks. You can tell that this is no dry meatloaf, for sure. Put it on my little birdie plate. All right, so we're gonna give it a try. Let's give it a try. Mushrooms, onions. Mmm, mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. You guys, you're not gonna be disappointed about this one. Enjoy. Mmm, something so homey and comforting. Comfort food turkey meatloaf. That's what I should call it. Bye.